Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about gaming, anime, censorship, and Steam. It seems like Steam has been on a censorship spree, a ban spree. Over the last couple weeks, there are a lot of anime style uh, adult games that have been banned. And I'm surprised because usually Valve has been pretty liberal with uh, you know allowing these kinds of games on the platform. You know, there's always an age restriction. And uh, for some reason, they've just decided that they're going to start banning any potentially problematic anime style games because the anime art style has seemingly come under fire lately. We saw what happened in Australia where a lot of light novels were being banned because some Karens over there thought that the characters uh, looked underage, even if they weren't actually underage. And now it seems like this is uh, pushing into the video game sphere too. There's been a lot of talk about Sony being censor happy. Uh, Nintendo has actually allowed a lot of companies to uh, you know, put whatever kind of game they want to on the platform within reason, as long as you're over the age of 18, right? You can, you can buy these games, play these games. You're an adult, you can do whatever you want to do. Steam has always been kind of a place where you could buy games like this. And this does not seem to be the uh, the case. And there are other storefronts banning anime style games too. Uh, very curious. Again, it does seem to be limited predominantly to uh, anime style games. There are a few Western style games too, but uh, the ban hammer is coming down on uh, these sorts of games. Now, before I get into it, I'm gonna ask you guys to subscribe. We're at almost 176,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Uh, hoping for 200,000 soon. That would be great. We do talk about pop culture, talk about anime, talk about animation, talk about video games, and pretty much whatever interests us that day. Uh, Geeky is sitting this video out. I don't think she's terribly interested in this topic. Uh, so I'm going to fly solo here. And I got to give a hat tip to that one girl and Black Sage D who sent me links uh, to this uh, last night and today. I did not know that Steam was going on a banning spree. We've covered the uh, the censorship, the continued censorship in anime and anime style games and uh, artworks over the last couple months. And it does seem to be ramping up. Uh, this version of the story coming from Noisy Pixel. So here's one of the games, Eventical. Eventical 2 officially banned from Steam, other online storefronts being considered. Uh, there are some other games too, including, uh, is it uh, Taimanen Asagi? Is that the title? Uh, banned from Steam for characters appearing underage. Uh, Super Seducer 3, delayed due to censorship. Super Seducer. And uh, Ryusei World Actor was banned from Steam again. So this happened, this happened uh, last year actually. So this has been going on uh, for a while, but it does seem to be ramping up. So Eventical 2 officially banned from Steam, other online storefronts being considered. It was discovered that uh, Eventical 2 had been rejected by Valve to release on Steam alongside the already available Eventical 2 Clinical Trial Edition, a demo of the full game. The developer Alice Soft has shared a post on Twitter officially announcing that the game was indeed rejected from the platform. The developer mentions that it is Valve's right to do so considering the adult nature of the game and the content depicted in some scenes. Uh, they mentioned they will still continue to develop the localized version of it and release it through different storefronts. No official storefronts have been announced at this time. Uh, Eventical 2 takes place during a time when illness has spread across the world and is known as the hero disease. If someone with the illness uses magic, they will die. Mighty Warriors Worldwide have teamed up to take out the monsters responsible for the plague. Uh, the efforts are becoming harder. That's where the protagonist of the adventure steps in to help. Blessed with a legendary healing ability, Alex sets out to cure the female warriors affected and save them. And I'm, I'm sure you can probably guess how that happens. Again, if you are uh, over the age of 18, you are within the uh, well within your rights to buy and play this sort of game. Uh, these are not my sorts of games. I don't play these kinds of games, but I think that people have a right to play them as long as they are of age. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell somebody they can't. So we've also got Super Seducer 3 delayed due to Valve mandated censorship. Uh, Super Seducer has been delayed after online storefront Steam removed the game demo for its uh, sexual subject matter. Uh, it was originally featured in the Steam Game Festival with one 
level demo, but the demo was ultimately removed from the event, according to game creator Richard uh, LaRuina. Uh, La Ruina has been informed that certain scenes will need to be altered or removed entirely to pass Steam standards. They never used to care. Um, you know, Steam would pretty much release anything, and now they've they've got a huge target, I think, painted on their foreheads because uh, we do have a lot of uh, Puritans in the gaming industry that don't think that adult games should exist in any form, that everything should be Nintendo, uh, unless Nintendo makes them angry over space buns. So you can find an excerpt from Steam's announcement regarding content curation below and the full announcements here. Uh, with a principle in mind, we've decided the right approach is to allow everything onto the Steam store, except for things we decide are illegal or straight up trolling. Taking this approach allows us to focus less on trying to police what should be on Steam and more on building those tools to give people control over what kind of content they see. Well, that's not actually what's going on, though, is it? They are censoring uh, game developers. Because again, if you are... 18 years old, you should be allowed to buy these sorts of games if you want to. Um, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to. Nobody's forcing you to buy these kinds of games. But it does seem like they're trying to censor more and more stuff. Now, there were some other titles that were banned uh, last year, a couple of years ago. Again, uh, Teiman and Asagi was banned. This is 2019. Uh, they said it was, it was uh, being reviewed by Steam, and they said no. I learned from Steam that they're very strict in judging visuals that may be suspected to be underage. This seems to be the issue. Uh, the underage art style of the characters, even if they are not actually underage, uh, because anime gives female characters large heads and large eyes, even if they have large boobs, uh, a lot of people default to these characters being underage, even if they are not actually uh, actually underage and technically they're not actually anything they're just cartoon characters anyway um yeah and this happened before uh that uh Ryusei world actor was banned again this was a year ago so they've been doing it it does seem like they're ramping up their efforts in uh you know current year and i do think it's because a lot of people are talking about censorship talking about um you know anime in particular uh being problematic and they're probably looking like, well, Sony bent the knee. Uh, let's go for Steam. Nintendo's not going to bend the knee. So let's go after Steam. We can pressure Valve. We can pressure Valve to not release these kinds of, of games. Uh, so I think we're going to see a lot more censorship, un unfortunately. Uh, you know, that that's just the, the nature of it. Uh, current year. Again, a lot of people seem to have it out for this particular art style. And it does seem to be predominantly Japanese style games that are being targeted again on the basis of characters looking underage that might not actually be underage even in the game meanwhile i just got an email this morning uh i could request a demo of uh, mosaic neko waifus 4 which is coming to steam supposedly i have to wonder if this is actually going to make it make it in steam because i got i got this trailer i'm like yep this looks like it might have some there's like a love meter down here and uh, they're not showing you what's underneath the puzzle, but I have to wonder, I have to wonder if this is going to be too spicy for Steam, if it's going to get pulled too. But they sent me a, a trailer to look at and they said, hey, if you want a demo copy, we'll, we'll send you one. Uh, I don't know if I'd even be allowed to play it on YouTube, to be honest. But there we go. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.